Please welcome now the director of Queen Bomb, Maya Girig. Hi. Maya, an animation film festival would not be an animation film festival without a film with farts. So <laughs> yours is a good one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> From your point of view, is it a real or a false children's film? Um, that's difficult to say because I was not intending to make a children's film. I had this idea and it was suitable for children. So maybe maybe somehow I tried to, to have a layer that works for children. That is uh, definitely the bomb and the farting. <laughs> And I tried also to have a layer for, for me and other grown-ups that is maybe more the dialogue and maybe more the, the free uh, situation of the storytelling to, with this play of these elements and stuff. But I presented it for children and um, I was, it was a big surprise because I was quite nervous. And uh, the cinema was that loud that after the farting you couldn't hear the dialogue anymore. They were really like, wah! <laughs> so it works for children too. <laughs> and <clears throat> this is, it looks like, like a children's film also because of your graphic style. Mm -hmm. So is this your very personal uh, style or it is something you, you found for the film? Uh, yes, it was more a, a, a thing that I found for the film because I, I had this uh, this sketch of the of the line and the bomb and the house is it's from 2000, so it's a very old idea, and um, yeah, somehow I wanted to keep it simple because she has actually no time to really invent the story because always he tries to to end the story. So actually to build up the, the atmosphere of this, of this world she's imagining above her bed is actually, it has to be very, very simple because there is no time and it's out of, out of some words that she, she builds up this imagination. Are you a mother yourself? Yes, I became mother during the process of the film. Okay, so it's very <laughs> recent, so you don't try to uh, to find an end to the the story, the bedtime story you you tell to uh, no, actually not. It was maybe more a bit uh, how my father was dealing with me. Okay, it was even more this relationship behind it, and I did a lot of interviews with uh, five-year-old kids, and I took a lot of these situations into the film. Like uh, at a certain point, it was very difficult because I wanted them to tell the story, but I started with this sketch. So actually what happened, they just waited until I continued the story. So it was a bit uh, question-answer game. Okay. And when I, on I asked them something, they said, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe something. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then of course there was this fart and the kid didn't want to admit that uh, it, all this stuff or... or you have to invent it all over, it's not nice. All this stuff is from, from interviews, actually. Des questions de la part des spectateurs ce matin. Bernard, could you understand? Yes, it's okay. Yep. If you don't speak too complicated, I can understand. Je comprends, mais pas trop. Non, non, je, votre film m'a fait penser à un petit chef dœuvre de John Hubley, que vous connaissez peut-être, qui s'appelle Moonbird, dans lequel John Hubley avait piégé ses enfants, il les avait laissés jouer dans le jardin, puis ensuite il a animé à partir de la bande sonore et toute la fraîcheur de, de, du casting des enfants et qui ne savaient pas qu'ils étaient enregistrés et euh, oui. passaient dans le film. Je voulais savoir comment vous avez justement obtenu cette fraîcheur des, 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 de vos enfants ça c'était très difficile. It was very difficult to keep this uh, this uh, documentary touch because it's a complete uh, written dialogue. But I had somebody who was writing the dialogue. She's doing normally. She's doing um, audio pieces for kids and uh, and theater pieces. So she did a big uh, work to keep it like in this uh, credibility. Let's say. 
Because when I talked about the film before it was made to people, they say, oh, you, should, you should just decide either the Queen Bum or the, the sound file where you can animate freely. And this is not what I wanted because I had this Queen Bum. I was carrying around this Queen Bum for 10 years. I wanted to get rid of it <laughs> So also. So it was a bit uh, this. But it was very new for me to do a children's film and do a drawing animation because I did puppets before. So it's like all, it's kind of an experiment as well. Majagiri, thank you very much. Thank you.